Producers have several tools to manage resistance and the focus should be directed towards scouting, crop rotation, and growing resistant rated varieties. We have to start being a lot more cognizant of what it's there, crop scouting, uh, going in and maybe cutting off to samples in the fall, making sure that uh, you don't have any, and if you do, we're gonna have to start worrying about our crop rotations to a much greater extent. There's a reason we've been recommending for years now a one in four rotation. And the reason for that is that little piece of wood left over after a canola plant dies is where the black leg fungus overwinters and you want that thing to decompose. That robs the fungus of its home and the population goes down. If you do a canola crop after canola crop or after a short interval, that stuff sticks around and you build up that population. Black leg resistance identification will still incorporate the old field testing rating of RMR, but now seed developers have the option to add resistance gene labels to the field testing rating. Identifying the resistance gene will allow producers to pick varieties with a different major gene profile. If producers are dealing with a severe black leg infection, additional management tools need to be considered, such as an early season fungicide application or using different black leg resistance genes. Yeah, the, the rotation piece is really important because what we do know is that if you use one resistance gene in a field and there's a pathogen population, uh, the individuals that are capable of, of overcoming that resistance or, or avoiding that resistance are the ones that will be successful at producing spores in the next time. So if you go back to that field and use that same type of resistance again, now you have a much bigger population that will be able to overcome that resistance. So that's why it's better to switch to a new type of resistance gene. Uh, adjust the genes that they throw out the population. So imagine you have a field that has a black leg population in it and it's able to attack the canola cultivars that you have been using it because it's become adapted to those genes. If you throw a different set of genes into that, into that field, that population is not adapted to, to attacking that and the, the disease uh, losses and the amount of disease will go down. Remember, the first step is scouting your field and being able to properly identify and measure levels of black leg within it. By using an integrated pest management approach to black leg in Canada, we will be able to minimize the threats posed to the Canadian canola industry well into the future.